But there are some of us still who go abroad for the gathering of news and the watching of our enemies, and they speak the languages of other lands. I am one. Haldir is my name. Hey everyone, Yoiston here, and I hope you all are doing well, wherever you are in Middle-earth. Today we are taking a look at the character history of Haldir, as many of you have requested we do throughout the years. However, today, many untold secrets about this character will be revealed, and nothing about the lore will ever be the same. My friends, this has been a long time coming. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Let's begin our tale. Haldir and his brothers, Rumil and Orofin, were elves of Lothlorien, Galathrim, born at an unknown time. While Haldir spoke both Sindarin and Westron, his brothers spoke only little of the common tongue of Westron. Yet they were March Wardens, protectors of the bounds of Lothlorien, and Haldir himself specifically would at times go abroad for news and to watch Lorien's enemies. In early 3019 of the Third Age, these elves encountered the Fellowship of the Ring after they had passed through Moria. Haldir found the company, and after hearing Legolas sing of Nimrodel and Amroth in the waters of the Nimrodel River, he recognized them as at least not enemies. He had heard of Aragorn and recognized the bearing of an elf from Mirkwood Legolas. However, he still distrusted Gimli and made the dwarf go blindfolded in the forest, which made Aragorn have everyone go blindfolded until Galadriel released them from this, as Haldir still remembered the scars between his people and the dwarves. Haldir then led the Fellowship to their boats when they went to depart Lothlorien. It is likely that he and his brothers went on to fight in the three assaults against Lothlorien later in the war, and that they would eventually sail away at some point, and that is where our knowledge ends of Haldir, at least for most Tolkien scholars. Not this one, however, if that's what you consider me. If you look on YouTube, there are little to no videos about Haldir, and I believe it's because his secrets have not yet been unraveled. Not until now. Over the past few years, I've been scouring all of the lore of Tolkien that I can find, meeting with experts that I can't name in this video, investigating some of the notes of Tolkien and rereading every single book, and now it is time to release the previously unknown lore of Haldir to the world. I believe that Peter Jackson must have been privy to some of this information, as he put Haldir in the Battle of Helm's Deep, but as we know from the books, that's not quite right. Or so it seems. It seems that, actually, in some drafts, Haldir was at the Battle of Helm's Deep, and Peter Jackson was actually right. From my findings, he did more than just that in the lore. My friends, allow me to take us into a truly epic character history after so many years of work. After the Fellowship left Lorien, Haldir trailed behind them to protect them from orcs along the Anduin. Why weren't the orcs of Sarn Athrad in close pursuit of our company after they shot some arrows at them in the lore? Haldir was fighting them all. What happened to the Nazgul that Legolas shot down on the river? Where did he end up? Well, I'm not sure, but Haldir was definitely around. Then, where did Haldir go? Well, to Helm's Deep, of course, like Jackson shows us. But he didn't go right away. Haldir actually had more important things to do beforehand. In the original lore, he turned Saruman's army of 20,000 Urukai into 10,000. Then he faded into the background characters at Helm's Deep, at least in these drafts. It gets a bit fuzzy after this, as from what I've recovered, it looks like Professor Tolkien may have accidentally spilt some of his pipeweed onto the pages. But in the next place where there is legible writing, Haldir's with the eagles in the north, telling them about the Battle of the Black Gate, and then he actually rides Squire here into battle. Again, Professor Tolkien edited all of this out. But why? What could Tolkien have against Haldir? I actually do think that there's a rather big conspiracy here, and Peter Jackson knew about it, which is why he put Haldir at Helm's Deep to warn us. But even then, Peter Jackson still had Haldir die at Helm's Deep, changing this lost lore. But no, I do think he was trying to tell us something. Haldir was someone important that Tolkien was trying to hide. All of this, and the fact we do not know when or where Haldir was born, or where he ended up, tells me that Haldir must have been someone very important. In the earlier text, Haldir actually means hidden hero in the early Noldoran language, proving my point even more. Therefore, I believe Haldir to be none other than Maglor, the lost son of Feanor himself, who must have come to Lothlorien at some point, maybe in the Second Age. The Professor must have known that if he revealed Haldir's secret identity, the Feanor haters would come out against the Lord of the Rings in droves, so he had to keep this lore silent. But he left us these small hints, like not giving us a physical description of Haldir, nor telling us 
how these hereafter mentioned things happened, but leaving us with the questions about them nonetheless. Why weren't there any orcs guarding Mount Doom? How did your son of Feanor got to them first? What happened to make Gollum slip into Mount Doom with the ring? The Lost High King, Maglor, aka Mr. Haldir happened. Who stopped Sauron from coming back after the Lord of the Rings? Well, his name rhymes with Ralvir. There we are, folks. The Lord of the Rings will never be the same again. Long live High King of the Noldor, lost son of Feanor, the true hero of the Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings himself, Haldir. And that, I think, is a good place to end today's video. April Fools, everyone. <laughs> For years I've gotten requests to do a Haldir epic character history, and I would have loved to, many times over. Except for the fact that he has, like, almost no lore in the books. However, the things that I said between this time and this time on the screen is in fact true in the canon. And that way there is a part of this video that is actually concerning the lore. Also, his name does strangely enough mean hidden hero in the early versions of Noldoran. I didn't make that up. But other than that, April Fools. Don't get me wrong, Haldir is a cool character, especially with how Peter Jackson portrayed him in the movies, but there is no grand lore or conspiracy behind this character, which is why there aren't many videos about him on YouTube. But, but I thought taking this idea to make a very clickbait video would be fun. And it was, even if that title and the thumbnail for this video really make me cringe. <laughs> And it also speaks to Professor Tolkien's ability to world build in that he can make such cool characters that we know so little about and about their fates, such as Meglor, son of Fanor, or Haldir, or many others. It's really cool that he's made these characters and we all want to know their full lore and their full stories. All respect to Professor Tolkien and what his canon actually is, of course. There were no hidden documents or secret interviews. No, my friends, while Haldir was a March Warden of Lothlorien, alongside his brothers who protected the Golden Wood, aided the Fellowship of the Ring, and likely fought in the assaults upon Lothlorien before sailing into the West at some point, that is where his and our story end. From this tale, we can see that sometimes there is much more at play in a story than what we can perceive, but at other times, a thing is exactly what it appears to be. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this strange, but hopefully funny video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and share this with a friend. What are your thoughts on Haldir? Let me know in the comments below. I think this is a character who would have an interesting story if Professor Tolkien had decided to expand it. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider getting some candles from our friends, Mythology Candles, or order some Weta or United Cutlery, Lord of the Rings swords, statues, and other replicas from Castle Khan, who does international shipping, and use the code WEST at checkout. And please check out our merch and Patreon. Thanks to our Valor tier patrons and YouTube members, Peter Shepard, Jonathan Putin, M. Mark Kralik, Molly Sullivan, Blair Scout, Merton, John Hume, Sam McB, Matt Sabach, Elizabeth Calvert, Maz Gibbs, Reese Jenkins, Adam Petrolik, Anthony Harmon, Dorwin Gray, Arthur Merlin, Dale Davis, Kingswald Project, Robert Bogue, and King of Games 2500. Thank you so much to all of our patrons and YouTube members. Please subscribe and hit that bell button to join the Men of the West and all of the free peoples today. And I'll see you all again next weekend, on Sunday with a video at our normal time on what made Gandalf so powerful. My friends, thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. Until the next one.